Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in... Uh, privacy. Right. I understand that, but when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon, and it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything, but nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon, and every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor, and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing he first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Chico! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Good jab. Oh, nice right hand, John. These guys 
throwing early. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come... Well, he told us on Thursday you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. It's with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Straight to the body by Nurmagomedov. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Got the single collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, perfect head kick there. Knee to the body. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Blocks the shot. Just over three minutes to go round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, a little single collar tie there. Fantastic timing for that move to take that. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Nice loop and bunch. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Meta. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Man, he's just got a great feel for the strike. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming this way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Real nice body king land. Ooh! Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his students certainly followed up on that apparel. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, nice high kick. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. We got to whip this hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Second round, straight ahead. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Flips 
that left hand. Ball lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Real quick leg kick. Nice, good, good. Can't have your Ooh, what a punch. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Nurmagomedov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nurmagomedov gets the takedown. Nice entry on that attack. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, that's a good right hand. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Both fighters back to their feet now. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -huh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on notice here. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Again, they will clinch. Great punch landed. With that one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, big left hook there. Nice kick. All right, single collar tie now. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand for W. Underrated. I mean, it's a very... And he gets the takedown. He gets the takedown and falls right into side control. Exactly where he wants to be. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Oh. Look at him push the arm down, maybe step into a crucifix. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. 
Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. And how about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in the submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All collar tied. Big leg kick lands. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ooh. And they separate. Straight punch land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He's able to slip the left. Oh, big shot lands. Knee strike there, interrupted by Nermago Meta. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not, he jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock, and if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest. Go. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half court. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. 45 seconds remain in the round. His right eye's closing up. 
Back to the feet now. Thirty seconds now to go on the round. Twenty seconds left. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent. Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting it up. Tainy scraps so far. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Hey, Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, wow! Head kick! Good defense to block the strike coming back. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, we talked about that reach advantage. As you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates the head outside to a high cross. Oh! What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Beautiful kick. Over and over, he's landed this big body kick. Big head kick land. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, straight punch lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his footwork, and again, we're a broken record. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Well, I know Javier Mendez has said that he likes to go south a lot times in training. Looks pretty good on the feet tonight. He looks really good in the stand-up. That is a part of his game that's underappreciated. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time... And this might just be a matter of time. in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 2 minutes, 23 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm triangle choke, Habib Ibrahimov!
right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to finally finish by submission.